Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. Christina with a K. Hey, Christina with a K. Hey, hey, hey girl. Hey boy, how you doing? How you feeling? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see what's going on, um, we are bringing out the animal. <laughs> I can't even do this straight y'all. So this is a collab with my girl Nizzy Mac. If you are here from her channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. She used to be called Nizzy's Playhouse. I guess she's Nizzy Mac now, you know. Mac? Playhouse? It's, you know, we still love you Nizzy. So yeah, this is a collab with my girl. I absolutely adore her. We are doing a collab. <sighs> Nizzy, Nizzy, you see what you got me doing? You see what you got me doing? You got, you bringing out that animal on me. And this is a whole bodysuit, y'all. This is a whole bodysuit. So we are doing a collab with these pussycat doll kind of cat vibes. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I did the instructions right. We gonna see when her video drops. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to style these really simple cat ears for some cat vibes, if that's what you're trying to be for Halloween, or if you're just trying to bring out your little animal, you know, you might want to put some ears on, because <laughs> I know ever since I put these ears on in this little cat suit, woo, ha <laughs> ha ha, hubby better watch out. So in this video, yes, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. There will be timestamps below. On this channel, I do wig reviews. And in this video, this is also a wig review on this wig that is on my head. If you don't care too much about the wig and you just want to see how to do the airs, you can jump to that part of the video. They are timestamps. But if you want to see kind of about this wig and how I install this wig and what I think about this wig, use those timestamps as well. They will be provided below. So let's just go ahead and jump into this whole look. Because, yeah, I've been walking around the house for like two hours, y'all. Like, just crawling on stuff and laying on stuff and, you know, rubbing up a little bit extra on hubby, you know, because I'm feeling all... <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to talk to you guys after we style this wig. So we're going to be creating this look with the stylus lace front wig in the style Bella. I have the color OET purple. This is a really pretty color. I'm just showing you guys the cap construction and how you get all that parting space, the combs in the front, one in the back. This lace is brown. You can choose brown or neutral, but yeah, this is a brown lace. So. I was noticing a lot of shedding, which I will talk about in the end, but yeah, this wig was shedding quite a bit. So I think the hairline looks okay. It's pretty good. I mean, if you want, you can pluck it some more. I just go ahead and cut the lace off camera. I'm using my bed head hard spray in the front. I like this spray. I've been using it more and more these days and I'm really, really liking it. It dries pretty quick and I just like it. It doesn't like leave crust and all that so on the sides guys I'm just going in with a little bit of got to be glue gel and that's what I'm doing here to secure the side next I'm gonna go in with an elastic band I saw taste pink use this and she swears by it so I'm just using an elastic band to secure it I think it did a pretty good job I mean you can use this or an edge scarf whatever works but yeah it melted in pretty good guys and I really do like that it's just be careful because it might be too tight you might get a headache see that's that shedding again y'all so I really like the curls on this wig guys it has a lot of nice parting space in the front too that's just what I'm showing you guys here Next for this look, I really like the curls on this, so I wanted to create a bang, so I'm just putting that off to the side. And then I'm just going to go in and start making the ears. You want to get a small section, not too small, but not too big, because this is what you're going to use to create the ears. And I'm just showing you here what I'm doing. The pipe cleaner, that is the key. So all you're doing guys is just literally braiding in a pipe cleaner. The pipe cleaner is going to help create the bend of the air and that's all you do. Just braid in a pipe cleaner. <laughs> then I just take the end and kind of twist it around just to kind of secure it. Then just do the same exact thing on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
so now you pretty much just want to create the shape of the ears that you want i was like excited when i created the shape um <laughs> you get some bobby pins and you just pretty much create that shape that's all i'm doing here is just playing with those ears creating that shape and getting the look that you desire And that's pretty much it. The wig pretty much styled itself. It had all these beautiful curls in it, so I didn't have to do too much. It had nice layers, like it was good. So yeah guys, this was really simple. All you need is some pipe cleaners. You braid that into your hair, you get some bobby pins. This is probably a little bit crooked because I've been taking all kind of pictures. And that's that, and you get the look. Let's go ahead and talk about this wig if you're here for this wig as well. So I have the stylist wig. This is the name Bella. I have the color OET1B Purple. This is a 13 by six. It says it's an invisible hairline. It's a 100% human hair master blend wig. And it's saying it's supposed to give you a real natural look. Okay, so this lace was really brown, guys. I got the brown lace. I didn't know how this would look, but this is the brown HD lace. I would recommend probably getting more of a neutral lace. This lace is a little bit darker than my skin. And I didn't have to, you know, put any tint on it or anything. But it is darker. I bought this wig a long time ago. So I had to put just a little... Actually it's blending in pretty good i put a little bit of powder to try to get it to blend and kind of lighten up a little bit you can see where the lace starts because it is that brown lace so i would probably get that neutral lace i love the curls on this wig this wig is really really pretty this purple on this wig is a great purple it's not too bold it's like really nice and subtle unless you really come up See, I got the purple it's like the 1B right here and then the purple I put a little bit of purple in my lips trying to match y'all did y'all see that did y'all see that <laughs> so I love the curls on here you have some nice layers in here as well and it feels good it's really soft and it's really pretty let's talk about some cons so this wig is shedding like crazy I I've never seen a wig shed so bad. At first I was thinking it was because of the way I cut the lace. And I'm a little disappointed that it's shedding so bad. But I am legit pulling pieces out of this wig as I'm brushing her, as I'm combing her. Like, it is so much hair in the trash. This wig is shedding so bad. And it's, it's sad because this wig has so much potential. The cap on this wig feels really, really good. It's really comfortable. It fits really good. But the fact that this wig is shedding, and it is tangling, but it's not tangling too bad. I feel like once you do go in with that wig spray or water and that brush, that it'll be fine. But the shedding, the shedding, y'all, is insane insane i was thinking i wanted to get another one of these wigs but i'm actually ready to throw this wig away when we're done look 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 how much is coming out <laughs> like as i'm just doing everything it's so much hair coming out of this wig like there will be hair all over the house like i feel like i should be a dog <laughs> instead of a cat because this wig is shedding so bad but this wig has so much potential like all these curls are beautiful it's a great wig the parting space is nice the hairline looks good but the fact that it's shedding and tangling so bad you could either probably chop it up and make it work like that but i don't know y'all i'm so turned off with this wig I know that the um, the lighting probably looks a little bit different because I've been fighting with this wig for a while and now it's nighttime. But this is how you do the little airs. Super cute, super easy, nothing too hard. Make sure you check out Nizzy Max channel and tell her your girl Miss Chrissy sent you. Let me know what y'all thinking about this wig and also what y'all think about these airs. What y'all gonna be for Halloween? Let me know. <laughs> Let's talk. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.